In this quick video, we are going to look at how to change the default load location for your queries. I have a few queries open in the Power Query Editor right now, five to be exact, and one of them is an append query from the other four. Now, if I'm going to load this to Excel by clicking Close and Load on the Home tab, the default load location is to load them as tables on separate worksheets. And these will be new worksheets, so it's even ignored the blank sheet one that I have. Now, in this instance, this is not ideal. And I could have specified something different by using the close and load to option. And I could even change that right now. But you may be interested, just like me, in how you can change that default location so that it loads it as a connection only by default. And then you could always specify something different on a query by query basis. So to do this, we click on data, get data, query options. Then within the global section, we can go for data load and specify custom default load settings. In here, I have checked the load to data model box too, so that when I click OK, and if we go and check out those default query loads again, now when we close and load our queries, they have been loaded as connection only queries to the data model by default. So a quick video there, changing the default load location. This is something that I have done personally. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to be notified about the latest video tutorials at this channel. Take care and see you again soon.